Today I am switching my office into our guest bedroom. There is far more space in this guest bedroom and we don't have guests over often so I decided to just change it all out. That way I also had a playroom for the kids and more space for my plants. So I've had these IKEA, I'm not sure if they're Calahax or whatever they are, just a normal Ikea cubbies. These are four by four crossed and so I've had them in my office for probably a year now and I have attached Brina grow lights to the top so I've been using this as my plant styling shelf and you know junk holder basically. I like to style my plants in the mix of my furniture and home and not just have them in a cabinet or in a specific area. I I like to mix them in and see them basically all the time and so that's why I've created this shelving unit and have mixed my plants in with my books and just knickknacks that I need to store for who knows what reason. But it's kind of how I design with plants and organize life so it's a function and a purpose of my hobby I guess. I've been using the Gov Wi-Fi smart plugs for probably about a year again, and I have really liked them. You can use it through an app that you just program for time of day or how long you want them to be on. You can also turn them on and off automatically like or whenever you need to. So if you have them turned on for a specific time period and they go off within that time period, you can just go in and turn them back on. So anyways, I don't know. I like them. I like the Gov app. I actually have their smart humidifier as well and really have enjoyed that. So these are T5 Barina Grow Lights and I only have them set up on the four top cubbies because the bottom four cubbies are kind of covered by my desk that I will show you and install later. So let's talk about the plants that live here. So this is my philodendron plow mani, and I did have this under my T5 Brina grow light in one of those cubbies for quite a while, but it has since outgrown it. And then I also have a cutting of a Hawaiian pothos from Florida that I got. And so now I just put them at the top of the shelf because both are way too large to fit in the cubbies. But my plow mani sits under my Sansy grow light now, which will, I will install later, but it has done very well. I this is one of my philodendron gloriosums. So this is actually, I would say, an actual philodendron gloriosum, a cutting from it. And then this is a Jose Bono, and it's clearly messed up, reverted. Who knows what's going on with it? I can't figure it out. I forgot to water it once. This is my philodendron mayoi. I got this a couple months ago, and it has sat on the top of my shelf and gets light from my Santi Grow light, and it's done really well. This is just the regular old green heart leaf philodendron. I've had it for quite a while. It's grown really long and lanky because I've not given it light. I do not set it under a T5 Brina grow light, so it does get neglected. Then I have a ton of cuttings that I always stick up here and stick either under a light or next to the sandy so that it gets light. And then my Jose, I'm sorry, my philodendron Pariso Verde, which is really pretty. It's growing really large leaves. It also sits under my sandy grow light, which I just realized I put way too many plants up here. So I'm going to have to rearrange that. Then I have these random cacti in my collection. This was a, I don't even know, but a ZZ plant. They honestly just sit up top in the back and I kind of don't pay any attention to them.
This is my 35 watt Sansi grow light that I just took a little $5 or $3 basket from the Target bullseye section and created this little lamp cover. And then I use these no nails to plug them into the ceiling instead of drilling holes and you know that whole mess because we're technically not allowed to put anything in our walls. So I just hang them off of those and here it is. We have this cluttered little mess up at the top but I will probably go back and organize all the plants and it will look different in a week but this is kind of how I have set them up and then of course I have more plants to bring in now. I am excited because I have my ficus lorata that has been actually in this room closer to the window and so I am going to stick it under the Sansi grow light and hopefully it takes off even more than it already has which I have been surprised by its growth. I cut it all back and it's done really well. And then I have this Monstera Escaletto, which doesn't look awesome. And I am debating on whether or not I need to cut this back. It's put off this long runner. It got thrips. It's been a whole ordeal. But here is my Gloriosum that, again, earlier I said I had a real Gloriosum. And I think this is a tissue culture Gloriosum because it's not growing how you typically see Gloriosums. It's growing, but it's just a very bizarre growth pattern. And there we have it. So here's the setup currently. I have my t-shirt rack, my Monstera Thai constellation over in the corner, obviously. And yes, I forgot to mention this giant pothos. I remade this quite a few months ago and it's doing really well now. So I have it here in this room. And then I have some random like this peace lily that I was supposed to get rid of, but it's still here because it's blooming and I really like that. So I think I'm gonna stick it under here move some things around. Again, I will probably move things around quite a lot just to get the right vibe, I guess you can say. Um, right order for my plants and where they need to be. But for now, this is how it is. I'll stick him in the corner. I'll stick my little Gloriosum by it and we'll see how it does. But I really love this room, how it turned out. It's so much bigger than my office space that I was in. So now I can fit a lot more plants. Just kidding, it's also gonna double as a playroom. So thank you so much for coming along and joining me on this little room makeover. So if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this and we will see you next time.